Welcome to I'd like to remind. Now let's take a look at this example and see what we should do with it. Notice that the negative sign is inside the radical sign, which usually gives us a problem. Well, let's see what happens. But again, we need to interpret this as follows. This can be written as the fourth root of negative 1 multiplied times 81. So we can go ahead and see that negative sign is essentially multiplying times a negative 1. And now, since we have a product, we can separate those two, and this can be written as the fourth root of negative 1 multiplied times the fourth root of 81. Now, the fourth root of 81, that we can handle, because we know that 3 to the fourth power is 81, so this would be the fourth root of negative 1 times 3. But the problem is, how do you figure out the fourth root of a negative 1? Well, we really don't have any solution to that. We know that the square root of negative 1, well, that's equal to i by definition because we know that i times i is equal to negative 1. But the fourth root of negative 1, we do not have any solution for that. So therefore, we say that this is no solution. In other words, solution. Hmm? Solution. Hmm. no solution or simply it doesn't it is not a real number not a real number and we could probably just leave it like that that we cannot simplify that because we don't have an equivalence of the fourth root of negative one and that is how it's done